So Nakamura-san, what's your opinion about the importance of cyber resilience in 6G? In the 6G era, cow will be connected, creating vast vehicular sensing networks. These cars will not only be fully autonomous, but their collective awareness will enable unmatched levels of coordination and the traffic optimization. That connectivity, however, could make them targets of hacks that could potentially be life-threatening. We can protect vehicular networks through enhanced security mechanisms like automated security operation. AI machine learning will analyze the data a stream from cars in real time for any anomaly or sign of attack and immediately eliminate the threat before it can impact the autonomous driving network. What's your view on AI and machine learning as key security technology enablers? AI and machine learning is definitely a key technology for the 6G system design and also a critical uh, technology to be able to identify and eliminate the possible security attacks. But we need also to be aware that the same technology could also then be used to create uh, security attacks uh, that are not possible today and that uh, will then break uh, the uh, security measure that we have, uh, we have now in place and that we, we think they are not uh, uh, breakable. So from one side, AI and machine learning can help to reduce the risk for a security attack to be successful. On the other side, it can create a new, new risk and a new type of security attacks that will put under risk the solution that we have available today. Simone, let's continue with you. Are the quantum computers a security threat against cyber resilience? Yes. We definitely expect that the uh, computation and the communication capability will significantly increase in 6G by leveraging the quantum physics. So for example, uh, asymmetric uh, cryptography uh, algorithm and uh, like RSA uh, security solution based on uh, digital signature will be at risk uh, by quantum computing. So we need to be then uh, ready for the uh, quantum area and for this, we need to enable hardware and standardization to support quantum safe cryptography. This will allow to generate new security key, new crypto protocols and mechanisms that will not be easy to be attacked by quantum computers. Simone, we have covered two examples for cyber resilience. Tell us more about this need to be extended with technologies to preserve the uh, privacy. So let me take this with another example. In 6G, uh, body area networks and uh, biosensors will play a key role uh, to support our, the monitoring of our health conditions. So this technology will allow to keep uh, under control or keep monitor the diseases and uh, provide us uh, a pre-warning in case uh, the risk, for example, for a stroke or from, uh, for an earth attack uh, will, then, uh, will then increase. Health data needs to be shared with the stakeholders in order to leverage the potential of uh, uh, this technology. Privacy preserving uh, technology will then be needed to be integrated as part of the 6G uh, system uh, design. Promising are, for example, technology like uh, homomorphic encryption, because those would allow to analyze the data and the perform computing on that without the need to decrypt it. So then when the final data is decrypted, the result it will be the same like the computation would have been done directly on the clear data. But then coming back to you, uh, Nakamura-san, so stay about privacy. So what is the entity document view about the importance of uh, privacy as part of uh, 6G system design. NTT Dogomo takes customer privacy very seriously. In 6G, given the large amount of data to be processed, some of the data is bound to be sensitive. This data could include private information, such as health or finance for individuals. Privacy preserving technologies is therefore of the utmost importance as it uh, 
compatible technologies that will allow it within 6E. We do, however, need to ensure that data can be easily accessible as well as completely secure in order to boost service uh, creations and the refinement of the technologies. In 6G, we will create a more immersive uh, digital world. Can you tell us how you think that the trust uh, will be needed in this context? Digital Twin enables the convergence of the digital and the physical world, where the digital twin is updated in real time based on the changes in the physical world. Digital Twin can be utilized for industrial applications, public services, games, and personal service enrichment. It can nurture new business and support daily activities, but without security and privacy for data, systems, and the transactions, business can't be conducted. Secure value transfer and, and smart uh, contract are uh, enables of security of transactions. Entity Docomo takes its customers' privacy seriously, making use of Epsilon differential privacy, private information retrieval, and uh, privacy-preserving databases.